Hey what's going on guys, my name is Russian and today I want to bring you guys the top 5 worst Call of Duty zombie bosses of all time and just like with most of my other videos, this is just my opinion. So if you guys disagree with me, tell me in the comment section down below why you disagree with me. Try not to be too angry about it because you know obviously this is a YouTube comment section and I get it not everyone's going to agree with my opinion but anyway let's get right into the video. So starting off the list at our number 5 spot is all of the Shangri La special zombies. I'm going to include the Shrieker, the Napalm zombie and all the other ones that can be possibly included. And to be 100% honest with you guys, I really don't like Shangri La. It's probably in my bottom two or three maps of all time, so I already really don't like it. But then you add boss zombies on top of that that spawn in probably every single round once you get past round 40, then that's when things get really annoying. The Shrieker zombie isn't all that bad, to be quite honest with you. He runs really fast, he'll blind you every once in a while, but he's not that hard to kill, so, you know, that's whatever. That's not that big of a deal. But once you get to the Napalm zombie, that's where stuff gets interesting. The Napalm zombie really isn't like any other boss that we've ever had in zombies. Most bosses, you can just run right past them, they'll slam, they'll do whatever they want to do, but they're usually not going to kill you if you just run right past him if you have a bunch of zombies behind you but the napalm zombie if you get anywhere near him like literally within a 50 foot radius he's going to blow up and he will kill you if you don't have jug he's going to insta down you and even with jug he red screens you and yes i know he walks really really slow but the fact of the matter is that as soon as he blows up you're screwed and the fact is that the flames that he leaves behind stay there for probably about 30 seconds and they do damage to you too so you're probably not going to run through them either now next into our number 4 spot we have the Margwa. Okay, so admittedly, this one's a personal beef of mine because I just hate the Marg one. This stems all the way back to 2015 or early 2016 when I actually made a video called F the Marg one. It's still on my channel. It's named something else. I'll try to link it in the description if you guys want to go check that out. It's a bad video, but I've always hated the Marg one. It isn't necessarily because of the fact that he spawns in a lot. It isn't the fact that he has three heads. It's the fact that he has a terrible hitbox. Why can't Treyarch ever decide to fix his hitbox? That makes no sense to me. You can't hit him in the head head with a dragon. You can't hit him in the head with anything that doesn't have 30 or 40 bullets in a mag and isn't fully automatic. I don't understand Treyarch sometimes. And now that I've calmed down a little bit, coming into our number three spot, we have George Romero. Now, to be honest, I really only have two complaints with George Romero. The first being that he's constantly on the map and you basically can't get rid of him. Yeah, if you kill him, he's gone for the rest of that round, but he immediately spawns back in the next round, which is really annoying that he's constantly there. But then the other one is he has a ridiculous amount of health. The box weapon on Black Ops 1 and the wall weapons aren't very good, even if they're pack-a-punched. So you basically have to have the Scavenger and the Mustang and Sally's in order to be able to kill George. Yeah, if you have the Easter egg done on Call of the Dead, and yes, that's a requirement, if you kill George, you get a Wonder Waft that has 18 shots in it, and yes, there can be max ammos for it, but that's still a pretty hard requirement in order to actually get anything good from him. Otherwise, you get a 60-second death machine, and in Black Ops 1, the death machines really weren't all that good. And I really do believe that if you put George in a Black Ops 3 style map with double pack-a-punch and double tap 2.0, then he would have been a much better boss, but I think that he was too hard for his time, and especially with Call of the Dead being a map that not a lot of people really do want to go back and play, and even when it originally released, not a lot of people were super hyped up for Call of the Dead, I think that he was just too hard for his time, and that's why I'm going to put him on the list. Now on to our number 2 spot, we have the Valkyries. Okay, so I've been sitting here for about 10 or 15 minutes trying to talk about the Valkyries, but I just, I, I can't. I just, I hate them way too much to express it in words. I've never been closer to breaking a controller than when Treyarch decided they were going to change the Valkyries and ruin the one good training spot on Gorak Krovi by making the Valkyries go inside the bunker. The electric zombies that they spawn in on their special round are the single most retarded things of all time. They have the stupidest amount of health that I've ever seen on a boss. Why do they need to have so much health i really don't understand that it takes almost an entire mag of upgraded dragon to kill them on round 50 just to kill one of them and like 10 of them spawn in i don't get it the electric zombies that they spawn in are again annoying they are horribly mapped they spawn in halfway across the map from you and then they constantly move around and do barrel rolls you know thinking that they're in some sort of you know fucking other i can't remember what that game is but I'm, I'm just gonna move on because this is making me way too mad. You know what, just for this entry, because this video has made me way more mad than it should have, I'm just gonna let myself from a couple months ago talk about the Panzer. Okay, so can we take a few minutes to just talk about how fucking stupid the Panzer on Black Ops 3 is? 
Like, I understand the reason why it exists. You have to have a boss in most of your maps, especially the easy ones like Terizendrock and Origins, but there's hard for the purpose of it being a hard, which is what the Panzer is, and then there's hard where it's, okay, it's a little bit of a challenge that you have to overcome, but it's not ridiculous. The Panzer on BO3 is just fucking ridiculous. First, I want to talk about the Panzer on Origins, and I have to ask Trek a nice little question real quick. Why the fuck is there three of them? There's absolutely no reason in any world that there should be three goddamn Panzers on the map at the same time, especially when they're as glitchy as the ones in Black Ops 3. Again, I get it, there are the staffs and there are actually gobblegums that can take these things down, but if you have three Panzers running at you at the exact same time, I'm not going to want to walk up to one of them and go like, hey, Pop Shocks, I'm just going to punch you in the face real quick, Bye bye No, the other two are just going to A, either hook me, or B, they're going to slap me and then flamethrower me and I'm down. And then there's the other issue of, why can't we fucking kill them? Like, seriously, Treyarch, why do they need to be stronger than, like, anything else that you ever made? Seriously, even when the first one spawns in on Origins on round eight it takes me a full gun and a half to actually be able to kill the goddamn thing like seriously that is excessively hard why can't it just be okay well you know let's put four or five mags into him right no it has to be a gun and a goddamn half and that's just with most of the actual guns even if you use double tap it still takes like half a gun three quarters of a gun right on round eight you're not all that set up like seriously that's just asking for people to not want to play your map because they're just okay well i got downed on round eight fuck this shit and this is even worse for the people that don't know how to fucking play the game if you're timmy little no thumbs over here right and you're like 10 years old and you're playing with your cousin split screen on your ps4 right you just got zombies chronicles you want to go play origins because you, you saw your favorite youtuber the smith plays playing that shit right you get on there, you're like, hey, I'm going to make it to round 50. All of a sudden, the panzer spawns in right on top of you. He slaps the shit out of you and then downs you and you lost your one perkaholic. Don't even get me started on the fucking one on Der Eisendrock, right? That motherfucker literally can't be killed. Now, I'm not the biggest advocate for Der Eisendrock to begin with, but all of a sudden, once you had the Panzer, that takes the map from, let's say, a 7, you know, the 7 out of 10 range, right? It takes it down to a fucking 2. But at least there's one of him. Like, seriously, come on, Origins. What the fuck are you doing? Like, at least on Der Eisendrock, I can go, okay, well, I'll catch him in a trap. You know, I can use the lightning bow. There's things that I can kill him with theoretically that aren't gobblegums right but then all of a sudden you know hey here's round 80 you don't have any of those gobblegums left or it's not in your cycle and you can't get it and it's like well how the fuck am i supposed to kill this dude but anyway i think that's gonna do it for me guys tell me in the comment section down below did you agree with me did you not agree with me i would really love to hear it also while you're down there i'd appreciate it like subscribe if you guys are new turn on notifications check out the description and watching. Watching the discord and i have seen each and every one of the you say anyway i love you guys and i'll see you in the next video i know Peace.